Hey, what's going on, CoinApp TV subscribers? Robert Welton here. In this video, I want to do a review of another Shaw Brothers classic, martial arts, and not really martial arts, it's more of a horror movie. It's called The Bride from Hell, which was recently released on Shout Factory's Shaw Brothers Classic Collection Volume 2 on Blu-ray. If you're unfamiliar with these, they come individually package on a disc there with some special features. I'll talk about my letter grade in a second and some of the special features, but first I want to get into the synopsis, my notes and impressions of this film. Spoiler alert, I didn't enjoy it too much. So Bride from Hell, 1971, IMDb says, a young man marries a beautiful woman after accidentally seeing her fully nude. He soon learns that his bride must be the ghost of a woman who was raped and killed by his relatives 20 years ago. So they, they tried to make a serious movie here. They tried to make an intense uh, ghost story, a haunted gothic tale. Uh, I feel like uh, in many ways they kind of missed the mark here. This movie is starring Margaret Sang as Anu and Yang Fang as Ni Yung Pen. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing those correctly. Two traveling men marry the two ladies of the house when they randomly come upon the house. And like they said, that one of them sees them as soon as they're naked. I mean, laying in bed, partially nude. Uh, turns out one of them is uh, one of the gals is a, is a witch or ghost or some kind of supernatural being. It's a little unclear, 100% on, on that. But uh, that's okay. I was I was like, all right, let's, let's sit back and watch and see what happens. Fortunately, not a lot happens. It was really interesting. It was kind of boring. The family and the villagers attempt, attempt to purge her from existence in a mostly uh, bumbling and silly way, kind of uh, comedic way. I mean, let's not forget, this is what, 1971? Uh, what year was The Exorcist? Was that 71 also? 71, 72? Uh, so, you know, just to compare like ghosts and witchcraft and possession kind of tales. Um, they, they even take her up to like a stake and, and um, tie her up like a proper witch trial, but they don't really burn her. I'm not quite sure why they got to all of that art direction and didn't sort of follow through with that. Um, the hero of the movie appears to be captivated by her and most of the conflict is put into motion by his fumbling sidekick who gets to marry a pretty girl also or something. I mean, it's just, it's kind of funny. We got the dual marriages and the uh, the creepy ghosty w women and these guys. One is really serious. One is kind of a bumbling idiot. Um, I feel like this was, if this was to be remade, it'd be like an Inspector Clouseau, or Peter Sellers or something, or Rest in Peace or something like that. But, uh, you know, getting to this, my summary here, this isn't going to be a long video. I can tell you that. Spoiler alert, not a long video, not a good letter grade. Uh, my last remarks, I wrote my notes, is not very interesting visually. Narrative is very dull. Uh, it attempts to be a gothic horror film, but not very scary. And just, you know, overall kind of worth skipping, I think. I think some of my subscribers, Mitch and uh, Paul Thomas, are going to agree with me that The Bride from Hell is not a standout film. In fact, it should not have been included on this this collection, I'm gonna get a bit a uh, letter grade of an F. It fails. It's it's below below average. I never want to watch it again. However, I did watch it twice because on the Blu-ray, we get commentary with David West, critic and author of Chasing Dragons, um, and also Tony Raines does a uh, a featurette on here. I think it was long. I think it was like about 50 minutes long. Uh, talking about horror films, Shaw Brothers horror films, and sort of beyond. And there's also a couple trailers. The Tony Raines stuff, I um, I love Tony Raines' knowledge and his ability to communicate, but man, I just wish that uh, he had like a little more of an outline and notes with his presentation because sometimes it just sounds like he's kind of rambling on <laughs> from the top of his head, much like when I do these videos. I uh, have my notes, but I'm mostly kind of rambling on. Um, the David West commentaries, though, I'm liking the David West commentaries, going into a lot of um, detail and a lot of opinions about um, you know, horror, horror cinema, Shaw Brothers and horror, and uh, how that sort of factored is in. And, you know, if you are a fan of like gothic horror and spooky ghost tales, I guess there's a place for this movie, but uh, admittedly so I'm more into like the martial arts, the wuxia action stuff. And um, if a movie isn't gonna have the action and it's a Shaw Brothers movie, then I gotta have really great story and great detail and, and characterization and something else to draw me in. So, Bride from Hell, 1971. 
Let a great F. Sorry. Sorry if I've disappointed anybody. Let me know what your opinions are in the comments below. Please hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.